Hello everyone, this is Kenji Fuji from Chiba Institute of Technology speaking. This time I would like to make a presentation entitled Bidirectional Momentary Energy Input to a 1 Mass 2 Degree of Freedom System. The topic I would like to talk about is the seismic intensity parameter related to inelastic peak response of the structure. The maximum momentary input energy, which is originally proposed by Dr. Inoue and his group of Tohoku University, is one of the intensity parameters related to inelastic peak response. How to extend the momentary input energy to bidirectional horizontal excitation? This is what I would like to discuss about. So, this presentation extends to the definition of the momentary input energy to bidirectional ground motion and formulates its time varying function using a Fourier series. This is an illustration of an isotropic 1 mass 2 degree of freedom model. The viscous damping coefficient and the stiffness in x and y directions are assumed to be the equal. This model is subjected to horizontal bidirectional ground accelerations. Here shows the linear relationship of restoring force and displacement. The potential energy is defined as the area of red painted triangle. In this study, the bidirectional momentary input energy is defined as follows. Here shows an example of the response of the model. This is a displacement orbit. The red curve in the orbit is a half cycle of structural response. In this study, the beginning and ending of a half cycle of structural response is defined as the time at the local maximum of potential energy. The bidirectional momentary energy input is calculated from this equation as the energy input during a half cycle. This graph shows the time history of the momentary input energy ratio per unit mass. The area of the red painted rectangular represents the maximum momentary input energy. Next, I would like to explain the time varying function of energy input. Following the previous study about the unidirectional excitation, the time varying function of momentary input energy is expressed in form of Fourier series. Here is the coefficients of the time varying function. This part consists of a velocity transfer function of model, which can be calculated based on the structural properties. And this part consists of a Fourier coefficient of ground motion components. I would like to show a numerical example. The natural period T and viscous damping ratio H are set 1.0 seconds and 0 0.10 respectively. The input ground motion record is JMA Kobe 1995 in Hyogo Ken Nambu earthquake. The half cycle shown in the orbit corresponds to the half cycle of response at the maximum momentary energy input. This graph also compares the time history obtained from time history analysis and the time varying function. As shown here, the time varying function is satisfactorily accurate. Here show the comparisons of the maximum momentary input energy spectrum calculated from time history analysis and time varying function. Here, V delta E is the equivalent velocity of the maximum momentary input energy. As shown here, the predicted V delta E spectrum is satisfactorily accurate. 
In this presentation, we discussed how to extend the momentary input energy to bidirectional horizontal excitation. First, we define the bidirectional momentary input energy as the input energy during a half cycle of structural response. For this purpose, we define a half cycle of structural response according to the local maximum of potential energy. Next, we formulate the time varying function using Fourier series. This function is satisfactorily accurate to predict the V delta E spectrum. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much.